How is that not snitching? This man then said on a live interview, nationwide interview, who he got coke from and how much. Don't you know that it only takes one more person to say the same thing about DJ Khaled that lines up with exactly what Boozy say, and that is an indictment. That's a federal indictment of two kilograms of cocaine for DJ Khaled, which will give him a... Um, I, I don't know it would be a kingpin, but it won't be good for him. And people goes around and says that there's people hating on Boozy and want Boozy to be labeled a rat. Bad. Who wants him to be labeled a rat? He is a rat. Only rats and informants would even thinking about indulging that information about another person to a nationwide of people watching. He ain't saying that he served two keys to John Doe, so-and-so. He's specifically saying who he got two kilograms of cocaine from. Knowing the feds watch these channels. Now you know if anybody else, if the feds have anything about Khaled serving cocaine to someone else, they could use that as a second form of information and get him with an indictment. And then everything after that, they hear about will be superseding. Y'all probably don't know about that. The ones that don't know about law, but this is real. Federal indictments are very easy to to put on somebody. Check this. Check this boozy. Uh, so-called stepper, not no rat or nothing like that. The dude that sit there and call Kodak Black out because he did a song a business deal a song with a dude labeled a rat that's not even street but they got finessed by a gang and he told on the gang because they try to mess with his wife and he seen that they they wasn't real but six nine was never a street dude he was a kid that went viral. He got sucked in by a gang, got finessed for the bag he had. So he was never a street dude. So he really is no rat. He's a kid that a cornball, a rich cornball, that towed on some gang bangers. Is it, all he is, you know. Uh, did he rat? Yeah, he rat. But he's not a street dude. So you're not considered a, a rat in the in the street world because he's not street. You know, he's just a rat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not to say that's even better, but, you know, this dude right here always getting in other people's business. Nobody even asked him about his opinion about Kodak. He calls up Kodak brother and asks him, if Kodak did a song with 6 9 and then I'm going to hang up on the boy. How you going to call somebody and ask a question hang up on him? Man, listen, man. Boozy, he might be getting away. I don't even know if he's getting away with, with that because he doesn't get shoot one time. So, I mean, them days of people being intimidated by Boozy is over, man. Them young boys out there, and I'm telling you, them, them Haitians, 
He got the right ones, man. Them boys would ban him from Florida. If they really want to put down, they would ban that boy from Florida. At least from South Florida. I bet Kodak's the one that could do that, bro. You don't hear nobody else saying anything. Nobody. Who's he talking about? There's people mad. He getting calls. Man, listen, ain't nobody else speaking out. Nobody else is speaking out, so they ain't too mad. Boozy's the only one out there running his mouth about what the next man doing. Ain't nobody else saying nothing, so they ain't too mad. Boozy wants people to jump on the bandwagon because he hating on a man for making two mil off of a song when he's sitting there getting money with T.I. that ratted, that not only took the stand, but T.I. got on a com- made a commercial, nationwide commercial, telling people to call the law, stop crime. You see crime, call the law. How in the hell is that not a rat? And he, and he had to do that because he was in the streets. But this man gonna sit there and say there ain't no exceptions, even with T.I. And then when T.I. checked him and said, "Hey, bro, you better get, you better get right." You, you know what I mean? You need me. I don't need you. And he thought about it and got on Vlad and apologized to everybody. A nationwide podcast. He apologized to everybody. And he don't think that make him look like he, 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 he a clown. You apologize to a, somebody that snitched. And I ain't taking nothing from T.I., Hey, T.I., I mean, T.I., T.I., he did what he had to do, you know, for him and his family. He ruined his street cred. He can't never get out there and step in the streets and people trust him no more. But, you know, T.I. is more important in the legal world anyway, and he know that. So he don't care about the streets anyway. The streets are for people that that need the streets. Man, you get to a certain level, you don't need it. That's, that's the thing about Boozy. Boozy got to realize he don't need the streets no more. Why he keep? Want to go into the streets. You put some, want to make it out the streets. He steady want to be tired in the streets, man. He keep playing around. He on this bond right now. He going to do time for the pistol. Even if he rats. And he is going to tell it. He done started telling. He done sat down with the folks. And, and, and he done sat down with the folks. Gave a statement. So he done started ratting. That's another thing. He will continue to rat. He's still going to do time. And he might lose... A lot of stuff that he built, all because why he wants to go hang with gangbangers, show that he's still 40-year-old thug, 40-something-year-old thug, and hang with people half his age in Cali because they can still give him street cred and risk everything he got, everything for his kids. He's going to risk losing everything, all because he wants to feel cool and not let go of the street torch that ain't did nothing but about cost him his whole life and caused him to sit there and turn his back on somebody he raised um but he still wants to hold on to the streets man the streets that's for clowns man ain't nobody want man listen people live in the streets cause they got to bruh like man I'm an electrician. I'm telling you right now, I feel so good that I ain't got no time for the streets no more. I mean, listen, I I wouldn't even try to go out there and, and, and make more money than what I do electrical because the streets is for clowns that ain't either figured out that you ain't going to win or either figured it out and got out of the game or either don't have no trade and can't do nothing else. That's for what the streets are for. You know what I mean? People that's got to have the streets. You know, you become a man, you ain't got to have the streets no more. You you learn to you learn to live a life without the streets and be a man. So Boozy is a millionaire and he ain't figured out that a real man gets out of the streets and stays out of the streets and he, he don't want his kids in the streets. So why else? Why he want to continue to hold on to the streets? Like, man, this dude, uh, I don't lost all respect for Boozy, bro. Like, I used to really, really have a lot of respect for Boozy through his music. 
because the music, you know, was like listening to pop. You know, he, he if you was in the streets, you you felt it, you related to it. But how he is now, I can't relate. As being a man, I can't relate to Boozy no more. Cause Boozy ain't being, he ain't a man, bro. He ain't a man, bro. He a clown. This got a lot of money that is going to lose everything he got because he want to hang on to something that don't mean nothing. But y'all listen to uh, this so-called person that, that, that hate rats and supposedly don't rat. Listen to him, man. Shit, I was on, I was on, I was, I was on tour one time and bought uh, two keys of coke out of Cali. Shit, I was on I was on I was I was on tour one time about uh two keys of coke out Cali. You did what boozy? Shit, I was on I was on I was I was on tour one time about uh two keys of coke out Cali. You snitching on who? Shit, I was on I was on I was I was on tour one time about uh two keys of coke out Cali. Shit, I was on I was on I was I was on tour one time about uh two keys of coke out Cali. You snitching on who? Who you snitching on? Two keys of coke out Cali. Oh, you snitched on Cali. Shit, I was on, I was on, I was, I was on tour one time about uh two keys of coke out Cali. Oh, you snitched on Cali. Shit, I was on, I was on, I was, I was on tour one time about uh two keys of coke out Cali. Oh, that's what you doing? Shit, I was on, I was on, I was, I was on tour one time about uh two keys of coke out Cali. Real. Shit, I was on, I was on, I was, I was on tour one time about uh. Two keys of coke out Cali. Y'all, he's telling everybody he bought two keys of coke off of Cali. I was on tour one time about uh, two keys of coke out Cali. Real. He's telling. He's telling y'all, me and the feds, that he bought two kilos of illegal substances of cocaine from a person that lives in Miami cocaine alley but he gets on and tells everybody you know the feds watching that he bought two kilos of cocaine from this man where now he probably gonna get on there and say oh that was a script we trying out for a movie and all that whenever people tell me about his dumb ass self you know what I mean but I'm gonna tell you man if you sit there and and think this man is is anything but a clown, a snitch, a rat, and nothing that he professes to be, is he? Then you a clown, a rat, and a snitch too. Which shouldn't matter anyway, uh, unless you want to sit there and hold on to some kind of fake street code shit that don't even don't even mean nothing anyway, because ain't nobody live by it. Ain't no, ain't no honor in the streets, man. Watch First 48. You'll see. <laughs> see how many people really don't rap. Watch First 48, and y'all tell me how many people go in their rooms and don't rap. But everybody listening, that ain't them. They ain't never going to rap. <laughs> I guess it's just them people on TV. Man, y'all better wake up, bro. Y'all want to play, y'all the ones want to sit there and hold on the streets and think it's cool and play with it? Keep playing with it now. You're going to get burnt. On tour one time about uh, two keys of coke out Cali. Real.